Today I'm so excited to share with you my first impression of the Kmart Auto Curler. I can't believe that I finally got my hands on one of these. I have been searching high and low for this auto curler. When I found out it was in stock at my local store, I just had to run in and grab one. So today I'm going to be showing you what's and all my first impression of this auto curler from Kmart. Now I read the instruction manual and it said that the auto curler can't be used on bleached hair, which is disappointing because I have bleached hair. So I can only test it on the underside of my hair, which is still brown and unbleached, and the top layer which is brown and unbleached. So let's get started and see what this auto curler can do. Okay, so I'll set it now to 180 degrees for 10 seconds. Okay, it's ready. Let's go. I insert the hairs in the section in here and twist the arrow. Okay, what happened there? All right, I must have done something wrong. Let's try that again and maybe let's take a smaller section because that hardly did anything. Is it inside? Press. Okay, it does look like a lovely little ringlet curl. Shirley Temple. Okay, I've tested underneath. I don't really want to curl my underside. I want to test it on this upper bit. It can't be used on bleached hair, so I'll test it on these upper layers here that are brown. So let's grab a little bit. Now my hair is very fine and thin. Now you have to make sure that you put the hair in this little section here for the curler to grab. Hey, that's cute okay let me grab another section i'm sorry ladies i don't have a lot of real estate to work with not only is it bleached but fine so let's have a look now i'll put it back in there and press again okay the ringlets are really cute there you are that's cute okay i'll do some more on this side in the center Let's see if I can make it start a little bit higher up by tilting it closer to my head and see if that helps. Ah. There you go. Ah, it's a little bit messy, probably more user problem than the actual curler, but there you go. That's a cute little curl. And then I'll do this little section here, put it in there and let it grab. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm filming in front of my window because it's a very gloomy Melbourne day and I can't show you otherwise. Here you go. They're lovely little Shirley Temple curls, I think. And that's all that I think I'll be able to do. I don't have a lot of real estate of a dark hair. Uh, let me see one more back here. Nope, it's all bleached. Okay, so these are the curls that the auto curler can create. As you can see, it creates lovely little Shirley Temple curls. And if I was to curl it all the way down, I'm sure it will create a lovely layered effect considering I've got layers in my hair. But because it specifically says in the manual not to be used on bleached hair, I'm loath to test it on these blonde bits and I don't have any more real estate left of hair. So let's run my fingers through it and see what that does, whether it makes the curls drop. So I'll put the page behind me. So you can see that it creates lovely little curls. Um, and with the curler, it does have directional arrows. So you can make the curls go left or right. So away or towards your face. If I could have used it on all my hair, including the bleached hair, I think it would have created a lovely effect. But because I can't use it on bleached hair, 
Um, this is it. This is all I can show you. So here it is, warts and all. What are my thoughts on the Kmart Auto Curler? I'll give the pros and the cons and my opinion on it. Now bear in mind that my opinion is based on my hair and how I was able to use the Auto Curler. So if someone has thicker hair than me, longer hair than me, and non-bleached hair, their experience on the use of this would be completely different to mine. I'm based on my needs and my hair, these are my pros and cons. The pros are that it's very travel friendly. You basically take one unit with you, there's no extra extension cords to use any long cords it comes with a little charging cable that's usb friendly so you just plug it in at night and charge it it takes about four hours to battery to be fully charged the unit is very easy to use it has four buttons one is the power button that allows you to toggle from the temperature to the setting required and also then the up arrow that allows you to, to increase the temperature from 160 to 180 and 200 and then it's got has five settings 6 8 10 12 and 14 seconds which allow you to create the desired curl there you go it turned itself off now the cons for me, I found this was very limiting. There's only one type of curl that it'll create. The barrel is 1.9 millimeters, just under two centimeters. So it can only create a fairly tight Shirley Temple curl because of the size of the barrel. It's really only that deep. So the hair will only be able to curl in this amount of space. Say for example, you had a curling iron like this, then technically you could wrap your hair around the whole shaft of the curling iron as opposed to just this little bit of surface area. So compared to what you can get with a, a, a traditional curling iron, this is very limiting. I prefer a tool that gives me a little bit more variety and also I prefer a curl that's more beachy, relaxed. So this will drop eventually and it will create that type of curl, but for me, it doesn't suit my needs. Also, I was very disappointed that the box didn't tell me that it wasn't to be used on bleached hair. I only found that out when I read the instructions in preparation for this video, so that I knew everything I possibly could about the tool and be able to share it with you. So you couldn't use it on bleached hair, which is completely useless for me because as you saw, there's only five hairs that I can curl with this curl at the moment because it's all bleached. Con number three is that it is very slow at curling the hair. You heard it. It takes a long time for the hair to twine around the barrel and then obviously the six, eight, 10, 12 seconds in order for the curl to set. So if, if, you, if you have a lot of hair, that's gonna drive you insane it's gonna take forever I know when I tested it yesterday by the time I just finished playing around with it and curling just a few section actually the reason why I didn't curl all the bottom today because yesterday when I was testing it and I did that it ran out of power for me to be able to do the bottom and the top so today it seems to be functioning a little bit better but I dread to think if I had a full head of thick luscious hair how long that would last and then you would have to put it back on charge for another four hours in order to, to recharge the battery so that you could use it again so even though it is portable you need to be able to act really quickly to curl your hair otherwise you just run out of time and you won't be able to continue with this tool because it doesn't let you use it while it's charging. And what would I say to you, my friend? I would recommend you not to buy it. I don't like to say to people not to buy something, especially from Kmart, which is my favorite store, but some things just don't work. And I have to tell you that this was actually the third tool that I bought. The first one that I bought, I charged overnight, went to play with it the following day, and it turned on showing four bars of power and then it started heating up and by the time it got the temperature of 180 degrees i was down to one bar i inserted my hair in it to twirl it and curl it and it turned itself off it was completely flat somehow it had the battery had drained so then i put it back on charge recharged it overnight and tried again the following morning and it did exactly the same thing so I returned it to Kmart, but I bought two others. I was determined to test this out for you on my fine hair, just in case someone out there was considering it and needed to know what this would do for their hair. I got those home, charged them overnight, went to use them yesterday, and one of them behaved exactly the same way as the first one. This is the, the third one of the three. And this one is the only one that's been able to work. I charged it, played with it yesterday, and used it and then put it back on charge last night and used it again this morning to film this video and this one is working fine it's got no problems with holding its battery it's performing as intended but 
it does indicate a lack of quality consistency in this curling iron so my friends i wouldn't recommend it to you it, i don't think it's worth 49 dollars by all means though i always say an opinion is like a butthole everyone has one so if you disagree with me by all means let's have some considerate debate in the comments below let me know if you've had a better result with it if you've used it and you love it I'd be so happy to hear that because I'd love to know that my experience is just the anomaly and it wasn't the norm. So if you've had great experience with this, please let me know. I look forward to hearing your comments. Otherwise, I suggest that you buy something else. Thank you for watching, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. I hope that this video has provided you some level of information that will enable you to make an informed decision on whether to purchase the Kmart Auto Cooler or not. Thank you for watching. Until next time, my friends. Bye.